Right, what is up, YouTube? Uh, so I guess this is my first proper vlog that's coming up. Um, decided to do a bit of like a week, sort of a, a week's worth of training. See how my off season's going essentially. Just coming up to the end of week one on my block with an SPD. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll start it off with this SPD session and then throughout the week I will go. At the moment I'm back in my parents' house, so I'll be using the, uh, the garage gym, which I got over the first lockdown. Um, but yeah, essentially got some high bar squats, uh, last and press from a bench, and then some pause deadlifts. Supposed to have some accessories as well, but obviously don't have access to a gym at the moment with being back at my parents' house. Um, so I can't be doing those machines and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so literally just about to head into the garage gym. It's about 10 to 1, so 12.50 a.m. Obviously evening training sessions going on right now, slash early morning training sessions, uh, with me fasting for the rest of April. Um, so about halfway through that now, um, basically training bloated all the time at the moment, so it's not, a, not great, but it um, gets the job done. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Just wait for my coffee to cool down. So while that happens, I'm gonna do a few stretches uh, and get get a bit mobile to hit some depth in my squats because I've got red lighted for the first time in my life at box for for depth, which has never been an issue. So I'm going to focus extra hard on it over this off season, but also it's rep work, so I might just squat a bit high and get a bit lazy. So we'll see. It depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but excited to train the garage gym. It's been a while. So I guess uh, I'll see you there, so peace out. Right, and we are in. Um, so starting off with some high bar squats, then we'll move on to some last and press, and then finish off with some pause deads. I uh, had a bit of a shocker, my water bottle has just split. I dropped outside when I was getting my stuff, but we moved. So yeah, just going to... Let's get on with it. Let's crack on. We're going to get this done. Right, so worked up to this top set pretty quickly. It's uh, 162.5 for a set of four. Um, feeling pretty good, all things considered. Um, trying out a bit of a narrow stance on my squat, so we'll see how that goes. You know, uh, it's a bit of a cheat code for some people, so I don't know. I feel pretty stable on it. I've watched. Uh, PR's performance of Steve DeNovi, who coaches uh, Sean Noriega. I've uh, watched his uh, videos on sort of squat setup and trying to put some of the things into play because I mean, I'm, I've got, I've had 245 on my back, uh, squatted it relatively comfortably, but I mean, I've got no idea how to squat. So, uh, sorry, to squat, to brace. So, I don't actually know how that's working. I'm giving this 10 mil belt a go, uh, which I haven't used in a while. I've been using my A7 13 mil lever. Uh, but we'll see how this 10mm goes, I mean, I'm actually struggling to do it up, I've gained a bit of weight since the last time I've used this, I think I was about 81, 82 when I had this, I'm like sitting at 85 now, so a bit more in the gut, yeah, but we've got 162.5 for a set of 4, and then I think it's like 3 sets of 6 at about 137, so I mean the loads are super light, uh, should be absolutely fine, um, but we'll see how it goes, I should probably mention that our reprogramming, I'm not with Ben Pape at the moment, but I will probably be starting with Ben in beginning of August uh, for about 12 to 16 weeks when I prep for a meet. But for now, I'm running, like I meant, Steve Denobi, the guy I just mentioned, I'm running his free 15 week intermediate program. And it seems pretty good from how I looked into it. It seems pretty in tune with sort of how I like to train. So I guess we'll see. Uh, so this is coming up to the end of week one of that. Uh, if you want to you see that one, it's, I think it's, you just type in YouTube video PRS performance uh, intermediate program and it should come up but yeah that's what I'm doing now and it's started off all right right enough faffing about let's get the top set done
Right, so top set done. Uh, very comfortable. Feels pretty good with this narrower start. Um, but yeah, I feel like I could have wrapped that all day. 162.5. It's pretty mad that I don't even have to think about that kind of weight on my back anymore. So, yeah, I mean, it's very, very chilled out. Um, but yeah, I've got three sets of six on 137. I mean, you know, it's all about hitting hitting those weights, hitting those sets, getting that volume in in the off season, nothing exciting, it's all boring work, but you know, in the long run, it's gonna pay dividends. You know, seven forty, seven thirty ain't gonna total itself. So let's get on with it. Right, so squat's done, pretty easy. Three sets of six, bash through that in no time. Uh, feels good, feels real good. I uh, feel like we're in a really good place. Uh, the base is bigger than ever. Um, just, um, you know, I just feel like I can, can really hit some silly numbers by the end of this year. Well, relatively silly. Um, moving on to last and press now. So this is like my tertiary bench day. It's very light. I mean, I don't think my working sets are even at 100. So it's a bit of a joke, really. Uh, but I'm not complaining. Give the joints a bit of a break. Uh, the knee, the right knee is holding up well. I've been suffering with a bout of tendinopathy for a couple months now, but been rehabbing it. Uh, stupidly, I should have re started rehabbing it a lot earlier, but I've only started post-competition, which is a bit dumb of me. But definitely way more mobile. Uh, the pain levels are a lot less. And yeah, it's on the men, so that's good. Uh, upper body-wise, I'm absolutely fine. Uh, touch wood, nothing happens. Um, but yeah, so moving on to last and press, uh, got to be a doddle, and then I guess a deadlift is probably relatively heavy, um, but yeah, still a while to go until then, got a couple of sets of last and so let's crack on. Right, so top set of uh, close grip last and press done. Damn, it felt super easy. 105 for a set of eight. You know, a bit of light work, a bit of bodybuilding really. My my roots, loving it. Um, nothing to worry about. This session for an SBD is uh, it's surprisingly fun. Um, got three sets of eight back offs on uh, 92.5. So I'll probably just, you know, speed up the rest time for two minutes and then crack on with deadlifts. You know, I'm rattling through this session in no time. So yeah, let's get on with it. Right. So uh, last and close group last one's done. Very easy. Feel super strong. Um, on to Paul's deads. Got uh, four working sets in total. Set of three at 220. Then another set of three at 197, might just round up to 200. And then 175 for two sets of five, so a bit of cardio in there. Um, should be pretty good. I've uh, checked out Steve Zanovi's video on how to actually pull slack out the bar because I'm pretty sure I have no idea how to do it. So let's just focus on the technical improvements in, uh, in this lift. Uh, yeah, I'm going to whack my shirt back on for that, actually. Oh. Right, bloody hell. 220 by 3 done. Had to uh, do a belt swap. 
after the first rep. Jesus, it's hard to deadlift when you've got a full stomach, man. I'm so used to training on empty that being fully fed is uh, it's hard work. Uh, I mean, felt all right, a bit hard off the floor, but uh, it was all right after that. Um, don't know, obviously, uh, bound to feel weaker making changes to the setup and stuff. I mean, I've got half a mind to just not change anything. I mean, I'll hit 292.5 without any technique. So maybe I'm destined to be a technique-less lifter. Uh, but we are, I'll stick with it, see how it goes. For now, got three sets to go. And so yeah, every rep I do, it feels like I'm gonna throw up. So, Christ, let's see. Let's see if this goes well or not. But three more sets and then done. And pour some more food down. Right. Right, so finished up the session. Took a took a bit longer than I expected by the time I well, got some bench blue through. And then Dad took a while with all this food sat in my uh, in my stomach, so I was struggling with that. Sat pulls definitely were a lot better, I think, as as the sets went on. By the time I got to the last set, you know, couldn't even feel a bar was floating off the floor. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's all right. I mean, you know, technical improvements. That's all we can focus on in the off season, and then. Yeah, got got to go in now, pour some food down. Uh, and we've got a rest day tomorrow and back back to it on Monday, heading back up to Coventry. Uh, so back to Simply Gym. So I doubt I'll be doing talking to the camera mid-session in Simply Gym. Uh, we'll probably just film my sets and then uh, leave it. But I think I've decided I'll probably just do a session by session uploads on YouTube now. Because I've got quite a lot of video time just based off of this session today. So, you know, I'll probably just put all these clips together. Uh, I'm no expert on editing and I doubt I'll ever put in the effort to become one. Um, so yeah, I guess, you know, first vlog. Uh, week one, day four. SPD day, done. Um, quite enjoying toying around with this new camera. I think it's pretty good. Uh, that's basically the main reason I'm uploading uh, so that I can talk to myself and uh, watch some decent footage back because the iPhone's good but it's not quite a professional camera is it so yeah we'll see might head out on a walk tomorrow try and get some nice photos but I guess uh, that's the end of it um, of this one it's my session done I bet I've probably got to figure out what sort of shit I want to film because sessions are so boring to film I think um, but then you got the standard like full day of eating. You know, well, why do people want to see that shit? Well, I've seen enough of those in my seven years of watching fitness YouTube. I want to come up with something? Well, I don't really. I'm only doing this so I can entertain myself. But something dumb, something fun. Uh, basically, when when my fasting month's over, I'm going to meet up with with a couple of the other powerlifters, and then we can. Have some fun footage coming in, I think. But yeah, for now, that's it. Uh, I'll watch this back myself and just, you know, enjoy it, how how badly I struggled during that first set of deadlifts. Uh, but the capacity is increasing because by the time I got to the last set, did it in one and a half breaths, which is uh, positive. Really want to push these dead because that 300 has to die in competition. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the goals are like 255 squat. 175, 180 bench and a 300 dead. That'll put me in the range of where I want to be, I think. And then we'll gauge it from there, but obviously you've got to put the work in to get there. So, yeah, that's it for now. Guess, uh, peace out.